here's my garden tour before it gets too dark. I got tomatoes down this row here, which I need to get tied up. We've got, I'm not sure how many. Um, these down here are the ones the deer bit the tops off of. There's still a whole bunch of tomatoes underneath of here. Uh, they're just not, uh, just the tops kind of got bitten off, you can see. There. And these are those black indigo ones I'm so excited about. The deer kind of got that too, but not quite so bad. These are going to be almost solid black when they're ripe. I haven't had a single tomato ripe yet. And we got the beans down this row here. And we planted these in wide rows. I got llama beans here, which are starting to get pods on them. There's a few pods here. But they haven't quite plumped up yet. And then we planted some flowers in between some of the rows. We've got uh, those Kalima beans here, which I need to get in here and uh, pick tomorrow. I picked a few and canned some dilly beans, but by tomorrow I ought to have I ought to have more, but they're real pretty beans. They're real straight and skinny. I like them. Then, uh, I've got some purple teepee, which we planted a few weeks after the Kalima beans. Those are a purple bean. They turn green when they're cooked. Then, we've got a few carrots here. I don't expect they'll do much because uh, the soil is kind of rocky here. We had radishes here, but we've dug them up. Then here's that uh, like yeah, cue ball type squash that I'm growing. There's one coming here. <clears throat> we planted a couple of them, but only one came up. But it's pretty prolific, so I think next year we probably only just need one. That's some borage here. That's flowering. The bees love that. My mother-in-law, these flowers, thats I'd never heard of it before. Her, these flowers are edible. They taste like cucumbers. She puts them in salads, and they're really nice. Then, uh, here we've got the patty pan. We've got quite a few patty pan plants here. And then, uh, I got one coming there. Then we've got uh, weeds, of course. Um, we got the watermelon coming here. And uh, where's my big one? No, sorry, this isn't the watermelon. What am I talking about? This is a volunteer cantaloupe that. Mom and Dad had planted cantaloupe over a compost pile last year. And uh, when we put the compost on our garden, we had this volunteer come up and we actually moved it. There's one coming. There's another one down in there in the leaves that you can't see. And we have some more radishes here that are getting crowded out by all the squash. And this is like a... I don't have anything coming here, but the leaves on it are so pretty. It's called a, it's a Greek squash. It looks like a butternut squash. And then we got the cucumbers. And then here is uh, another melon. This one is the, uh, uh, it's called, shoot, I don't remember what it's called. It's got a French name, but I think it means black rock. And it's, uh, I thought I had one. It's 
real pretty. It's, um, it has a black rind and an orange flesh. And it's an 18th century variety. So it's truly an heirloom. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then we've got the watermelon down here. I got a little one there. And there's another one in there. And a bunch of little tiny ones. And that one there. And then we got our peppers that look puny. And some Hubbard squash and some pumpkin. And now it's pouring down rain, so I better go.